I do a good Matt Damon impression. Uh, yeah. You already uh, opened this door. Let's hear it. Yep. Matt Damon? Hey, I'm Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, That's I thought he was, he was here. If I close I my he eyes, here. holy shit, he's across from me. <laughs> this could be, yeah. Forget about your mother, you know? <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, the movie he was in with the spaceship and Bruce Willis and the asteroid. That was Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah, same thing. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. Today we, first off, <laughs> Basil Yev. Close. I'll give you two tries. Basil Yev. No, one left. <laughs> Vazi, Vazil Yev? Vazil Yev? No. Vasil, uh, Vasiliev. Vasiliev. Yeah, I, don't, I usually just tell people Andre, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we have Andre the with us, guys. <laughs> it's not too embarrassing. Sam's like Basil. Like, <laughs> no, I don't Basil. Have Andrews. I actually want to like go and take the Y out because they gave me this thing. At the, they gave me my name at the customs because in Russia I have this like backwards N with a Nike swish over it. Yeah. So that's like kind of a Y, you know. So they gave me the Y, but so the Y is kind of just silent. The N's uh, like Django. Y, right? Yeah. Like when you say like gay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like ah. Oh, like the R E N, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, so I wanna I wanna take the Y out. <laughs> Dude, post edit, I'm just gonna have a yeah. <laughs> I'm just corrupting me out of your mouth. Basilia. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it, it just like flashes in for a sec, like Basil yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only Russian name I've butchered on this podcast. Uh, no, oh, <laughs> it's yeah. been about all of them. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, <laughs> you know, weird names, interesting names. I don't know about weird, cool names. I don't want to right. Cooler than Ameri- cooler inside. than American names. <laughs> 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 Anyways, Andre, thanks for joining us, man. Stoked to have you here. Should be a fun one. Yeah. Did you do the intro? Did I fuck it up with my... No. Oh, it wasn't you. <laughs> it wasn't you. <laughs> it was me. Again. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable. Today we have Andre with us. Thanks for joining us, man. Oh, no problem. Andre, Andre, having me. Andre who? Yeah. Vasilev. That's fine. Yeah. Well, Better. Vaz? <laughs> <laughs> I have no foreign tongue at all. It's, it's <laughs> I still have some English words I can't pronounce. Like what? I'm not going to say it. Come on. Really? You said encyclopedia. You this pretty it's well. <laughs> Hold on. You saw something. I can't pronounce that word real good now. Nicotine? Yeah. Nicotine? Try it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Try it real quick. No, I'm not trying. Uh, Dude, because you, your English sounds perfect. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I can't do it. All right. We won't, we won't make it. <laughs> Wait, Cam, you, say nicotine. I think you have better English than Cam. Oh, really? Probably. Yeah. Uh, I learned it from some reliable sources. What, TV? Yeah, TV. You know, I like <laughs> I my first summer here. I watched like a crap ton of like Family Guy, yeah, South nice. Park, you know, all like of that. a real American GTA San Andreas. Fuck yeah, that's <laughs> actually that's <laughs> English right mouse. there. I actually, kind of like started talking like fucking GTA San Andreas. Nice. So it was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. The profanity is like part of the culture. Yeah, all that. Yeah, I had, to, I had to learn that's where I got it all from. Hell yeah! I was like, hey, what does motherfucker mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Family Guy. Like, I got like it. saying this for. <laughs> I think it's cool. So I'm from the Northeast. I'm from New Jersey. Oh, really? Yeah. So I like that. That's kind of where you landed. Yeah. So you get it. That's like, to me, that's like real U.S. up there. It's like oh, people yeah. are mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tough skin. It prepares you for the rest of the country. Yeah. That's what right. the Sopranos is at, right? Yeah. What would you say Southerners are? What? What would you say Southerners are? Crackheads. The North's cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, it depends. Because honestly, like coming down to South Florida, like people can kind of be dicks too. Yeah. Like a different kind. Like, like cowboy dick. dicks. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Explain what a cowboy sensitive dick is. Yeah, <laughs> Southern <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't consider South Florida the same as the like Southern people. No, I think mm, so. We're yeah. in the city. Like, I think there is some Southern people out here, though. Yeah, but technically, like, this is the most South. Yeah. But yeah. It's, but it's not like Southern. Yeah. No, because South Florida is like its weird own little yeah. clusterfuck of people. <laughs> like I feel like when I got here, like where I'm from, like someone cuts you off and you scream at them 
and then it's just fine and you forget about it. Here they or like shoot someone you. says something <laughs> slick to you and you say something slick back and yeah. then you just kind of respect each yeah, other. Yeah, you go about your day. You're like, not bad. Yeah. Here, people would do that and I would hit them back and they would cry yeah. or get like livid. And I was like, oh, I just thought that was like sport. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sorry that you're Someone. so sensitive. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, that's nothing compared to like the North, bad? huh? Yeah, I think the North, it's just kind of more in the culture. Dude, I had, a, I had a truck cut me off, right? And it started doing this move. Apparently, it's like a move when you're trying to piss someone off behind you. You drive a little bit past, like, the on, on the left, right, where all the debris is, and you, the car kicks. Yeah, it's called the shoulder. Oh, really? Yeah, That's yeah. what it's called? I was like, yeah. you know, I got shouldered, so I, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, learned that new move, but, like, I had a rod driving knee side, so it's kind of, yeah. like, hard to pull Or off. you get you in like front of break. them, and then you just slam the brakes on. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I tried. I tried doing that. Some guy was being a dick. I started yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, break checking him. Yeah, there's a lot so more of that. The language, or I don't know. Maybe I just stopped doing it. Maybe it's. I guess actually, the drivers down here are pretty fucking bad. Yeah. But I think it's <laughs> unintentional. I think up north, it's all intentional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your I people are just like <laughs> stupid. Like, shouldn't have driver's <laughs> licenses. Like. I still want to <laughs> know what the fuck cowboy crazy is. You imagine Cam in a bar fight like this town ain't big dick. enough. He said cowboy, cowboy dick. Cowboy dick. That, cowboy dick. that too. <laughs> What's that? There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> that? Yeah. You're just fighting people at the roundup. Yeah. I guess I've spent too much time in like locks of hatchy because it's just no. You spend too much time listening to fucking country music right there. That's Maybe. What it is. Yeah. Country music? I'm a country music. <laughs> really? I miss. I listen I'm to all music. Oh, yeah, I like country music. Oh, yeah, okay. I have like the Sting anime openings. Fucking fuck yeah! <laughs> you know, yeah. If I'm I get down with I'll have an anime of... opening in my. Oh, all right. <laughs> I get down with that. Top and shit. Yeah, I'll look all cool. I'm like tattooing or whatever. Or at least I think I look cool. But like, right. I'm fucking listening to some anime. That Attack on Titan intro gets you oh, right, man. No, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of them are pretty fucking good. Baby metal. I don't know. So you guys are. We'll play some anime. Yeah, so you. Ahead, you I saw you did a Itachi <laughs> tattoo yesterday. Oh, my little f- micro. Uh, that was my first tattoo. Yeah? Yeah. I drew it myself. Brought He's it a legit tattoo one. Shop like a dick. I did that too. <laughs> like Wait, can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I did. It's fucking, oh, nice, it's yeah. fucking yeah, terrible. It's on the other side. Nice. This is a little fucking, you know. Drew it and brought it in. Damn. Like a fucking, you know. Yeah, you're like, I want exactly this. And now, like, how about something cool? You're like, nope. Yeah, I'll look I back. I did that too, <laughs> yeah. I'll look back on that. I'm like, oh my God. What a real one. <laughs> what, was your, what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo, we were ripping stick and pokes in a rehab that I was in. <laughs> oh man, okay. That's yeah. a lot cooler than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and mine. <laughs> that's a lot legit. My yeah, mom. I was in this like therapeutic community and like you'd, you'd go for a long time. Um, it was like a long-term rehab. Uh. So, you know, eventually once you, like, get over the sadness of, like, knowing you're going to be, like, away for a while and away from your friends, family, and probably miss the whole school year, once that passes, it's fun time. Okay. It's time to have fun. Because you're really just, you're with the boys, yeah, you know? Yeah, okay, that's true. You're with other people that are, like, fucked up like you and yeah. like to do fucked up things. So it's just, like, kind of getting creative. And there'd be, like, different trends, you know, like. Uh, we'd make up dumb games or we would, you know, they had like ping pong. We all got really got into ping pong. And then it was like, you know, some new kid came in and was like, oh, I know how to tattoo everyone. Okay. Every once in a while you get like a cool new kid that would like bring something new to the community. Oh, really? Yeah. So we had this kid come in and he's like, oh, like do like tattoos and all this stuff. Uh, so I think we were using like staple and maybe penning. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, That's a real story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we would just... I had one on my hand, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah okay, that's a bold, Right for the job stop, you know? Yeah, I think we were doing them, like, everywhere, though. Like, I still have one, like, on the inside of my knee. And, like, I always forget, like, what was pen ink and what wasn't. But as soon as I'm out in the sun for a while, I remember... Because okay. all the pen ink ones, like, raise up. Oh, yeah. They get very <laughs> irritated yeah. and itchy. itchy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. some pretty... I got the Boston area code on me. Yeah. I don't know why. I was drunk. Nice. <laughs> so I like that. That's something. How far are you from Boston? Again? Like an hour. Okay. Yeah, like an hour. Yeah. It's not far. I don't, I don't, I don't I really like Boston. You don't like Boston? No, it's, it's cold. It's cobblestone. I don't yeah. I don't really care about that. Parking sucks. I went there once, and we were just, like, hopping on the, the T... Bouncing around, kind of fun. Good oh, yeah. food. Oh, yeah, very good food. 
I like the food around here. What's that? I like the food around here in Las La Solas. You know? Yeah. I've been like, I, I think I was here like last year. Cool. So I was like trying yeah. to like come here at around the same time. I was going to, I was going to bring my girlfriend have like a little vacation time, but it ended up working out. So I like, yeah. You get like really good Latin food down here. What is it? Like good Latin food. Oh, really? I yeah. like Latin food. Yeah. yeah. Like anything like Spanish, Mexican down here is pretty Cuban. good. Yeah. Cuban, especially. If you can find like a I good. I love a good Cuban. I was about to say, you probably get the best Cuban down here. Oh, shit. I'm going to yeah. have to look for that. We have a, I'll give you a good spot. Okay. You're, you're going to be here. How long are you here for? I'm here today, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I'm here Friday. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'll give you a good spot. Yeah. My mom's house? <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> when, when did you come to the U.S.? Uh, 2007. How old are you? 10. 10? Yeah. Okay. Well. So does it feel, you f- feel mostly American? Oh, I feel very American. Very American. You, you went to like high school and stuff down there. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're American. Yeah, I smoked all the weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did I the marijuana. Like, I fucking did. I mean, I was good at math. I was good at school. When I came here, and I like fucking started smoking weed. And, you know, now the American dream. Now, now you're on some fucking podcast. That was tattoo <laughs> artist. Right? Right? Tattoo artist. Over here. You know, I guess, I guess it kind of like worked out, you know. Um, it was pretty different. Is that a so weird transition? Oh, yeah. Super weird, you know. Like, yeah, I fucking, they put me in, like, I wouldn't say, like, special education classes, but they put me in, like, the foreign kids' room. There was a foreign kids' room? <laughs> yeah. To like, get, like, like, extra like, test time and stuff? <laughs> like, you got banished? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, excommunicated from yeah, the rest yeah, of the school. Yeah, they're, You're they're, just they're, yelling at them in Russian. Yeah. They're like, get him the fuck away from me, dude. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they put me in, like, the... Um, like the class where people didn't speak English so good, so like you know, but I picked it up pretty quick. You know? Was that like one of the first things? Like, all right, we gotta we gotta learn English in school. Yeah, I mean, I was I like I was taking English lessons like a year before I left. You know, okay for, for yeah. Russian. I didn't know why my mom wouldn't tell me. She, you know, um, in case she knew. Did, you know, it didn't get, in case it didn't work out, and then she was like, "We're moving to America." Yeah. So she tricked you. No, not really, but you know, I guess it's, it's good. We're to learn, learn English. English. Why? It, no reason. There's an English class. Not because we're moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I was like, well, I just yeah. to learn English. Uh, I mean, I feel like a lot of countries, especially you know, Russia, did have an English class as yeah. a part of the you know, curriculum too. You know, so we learned all those, all those words. You know, first word I learned was okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Oscar too. Oscar too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Word of the day: yeah. nicotine. <laughs> That was just, it was pretty different, you know. I fucking, um, it was funny in Russia. Kids played with a lot, like a big thing was like airsoft guns. It's okay. fucking huge. You know, you go to a toy store, you get them, and they're like legit. They don't have the little orange thing on them, right? You know, they, they got fucking like AK forty seven. So like, I was like, you know, kind of like into toy guns and stuff like that. And I'm in fourth grade, and I'm drawing them. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with this kid? <laughs> <laughs> the Russian kids are fucking school. <laughs> yeah, kids here have real guns. Yeah, we play with real, we play with real guns here. <laughs> Did you kind of seamlessly fall into place with that, or was it? Oh, yeah, harsh? like, you know, one, two years in. You know, cool. Yeah. Fucking Just started smoking weed with the... Yeah, like that's American really kids. Yeah, I yeah, want, you just you know, fit in. Like, I don't know what you're saying, kid, but I like it. I don't know where you're from, but we're smoking the same shit. Dude, the fucking pivotal point was I was, took some guitar lessons. I was like fucking 11 or something like that. The guy was like, I didn't fucking know anything. I just saw a guitar on TV. I was like, I want to learn fucking acoustic guitar. So you <laughs> gave up the guns? <laughs> yeah, I gave up that. Okay. For the glory. For guitar. Um, and he goes, you should check out these bands like Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath. I came back like fucking emo in like two weeks. <laughs> I'm fucking wearing like skinny jeans. That's you know? what they do. I went to Hot Topic. Yeah. You, you know, don't go emo like after fucking. Iron Maiden, dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like, I mean, it led to other things. You, know, you go on YouTube, look up Iron Maiden, you're getting fucking, you know, whatever the fucking bands were at the time, yeah. you know. It was Bring the Horizon or whatever, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. A, That'll a start it off for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's still a thing now, but, you know, I kind of like. They are. Yeah. I'm of a Creed guy myself, but. Down the road of weed and. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll get you Americanized real quick. <laughs> well, you don't normally hear that that you wanted to start acoustic guitar. Normally, it's electric, and then like no, no, okay. your parents give you an acoustic. You're like no, whatever. I didn't fucking know anything about it. I was like watching like fucking Drake and Josh or something like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, he plays guitar. Like right. this seems cool. This seems like he gets bitches. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was, yeah, I was like, he's the cool yeah. brother. Like, this is how you, this well, is how you do it anymore. Uh, yeah, not anymore. He's, he, he does drugs. Yeah, he's a fucking huge celebrity in Mexico. 
Really? Dude, yeah, he speaks fluent Spanish. He, dude, I came up with him. I think he was on, like, fucking New Year's really? Mexico fucking announcing the I fucking I think so. Dude, he performed oh, yeah. at my high school. What? Oof. Drake Those Bell? girls are in trouble. No way. Yeah, and, like, three kids had heat strokes. It was a really weird really? heat strokes? Yeah, it was a wild event at my school. Fire, <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, bro. it was, like, they had, like, a whole, like, Mini concert in the school parking lot. Played Drake's the fucking opening. Sounds like a rough school. Man. Yo, he did play the opening. <laughs> Stop, bro. I am a fuck. That one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was wild. It just crazy. unlocked like a weird memory for me. Yeah. <laughs> grad bash Rihanna played. Rihanna played at your yeah. grad bash? Yeah. What? That's kind of sick. Rihanna? Yeah. And I was like, who the fuck is Rihanna? Huh? <laughs> well, it was 2008. Nobody yeah, knew who she you're was. Right, you're right. This was at a she wasn't Universal re- Studios. She wasn't re-re oh, yet. <laughs> yeah. That's where we do our grad bashes there. Did. Where'd you graduate from? Uh, America. <laughs> well, down here in South Florida, like, American have, High, you, all that stuff's right here in Orlando. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we all did Universal. A bunch of schools oh, go there. Yeah, it's either like Epcot, uh, What's the uh, Animal Kingdom? Yeah, like I would have been pissed. Each grade if level gets a different park. Oh, really? Yeah, they, it's kind of cool. To, oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Like eighth, I forget what eighth grade was, but it was also like a big trip too. I think eighth grade was Epcot, which I don't understand why you're bringing kids to Epcot. That place sucks until you can drink. Until you can drink. Until you can drink like, Epcot bro. is pointless until you can travel it. around the world, dude. No, they're like, we ran from fucking Magic Kingdom, got drinks in Epcot, and ran back. All we I had know is the croissants hoppers. in France are. Top notch, dog. Oh, oui, oui. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, which one of these are fucking? Put them on your mouth. Nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> they call them and put like a couple in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Become Thanos with the <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta yeah, this is B12 natural. caffeine. Caffeine's great. Nicotine, caffeine. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm too caffeinated. I feel I had one cup of coffee. I didn't want to come here with like you know. I don't want to vibrate. Much, you know? <laughs> How much caffeine is in one of these? Is that a lot? Thirty milligrams. A cup know? of tea. Hmm. What if you put like ten in your mouth? Oh, it's be, a, it's be in the future. Let's so take this journey says, together, everybody. Can you, still say it can you time travel? It says thirty milligrams. The their serving size, I guess. <clears throat> it has come to my attention that a lot of you come here, watch the content, and don't subscribe. Uh, and it is that fact has been proven by those around me with a number figure of ninety percent. What do you? What's going on? You come here every week. You watch. Just hit subscribe. That's it. That's that's all we want. Don't be a dick. Just hit the button. Hey, I got these hydroxica things, and I didn't read the fucking direction Oof. labels, and I took two. So each pill was three. Supposed to take one. Each cup with three fucking cups of caffeine. Yeah, dude, I had to like sit down on the couch and try not to move. Each time I move, like a fucking muscle, my heart would just fucking. It was bad. You had a panic attack. attack. Yeah, and I gave them some kids at school, and they had to like. (laughs) (laughs) I like like heard it later in the day, like, yeah, you phone fucking home. (laughs) Your friends are fucking (laughs) vibrating. Andre, this is normal in Russia, bro. (laughs) Uh, No, I mean, uh, so anyway, did you get cut? No, I did not get cut. <laughs> <laughs> I got hydroxy cut. <laughs> 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 Which is a whole other level of I cut. did those shit too, man. They're not fun. Dude, so many times, like, I, w- I was trying to, like, lose weight or, or get cut or uh, something. And, you know, my brain is just, like, go to a shortcut. Dude. So I would grab an all kinds American of stuff way. like that and, like, not even going to name some of the names. Every time I did it, I got extreme anxiety <laughs> and, like, pretty much panic and felt like shit. Tat Toolkit. You guys need to check this out. If you want to improve your digital designs and increase your tattoo productivity, then this is the site for you. Tat Toolkit offers digital designs, stamps, reference pictures, stencils, brush sets, and so much more. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in the industry your whole life, these tools will benefit you. What I love about Tat Toolkit is we're constantly working with new artists to really build an online community. You will get an inside look at the design process for each artist we work with. Tattoolkit will offer everything from the tools these artists are using, the designs they're creating, online seminars, merch, and more. This is a great place to interact and connect directly with the best artists in the industry 
You guys need to check this out at tattoolkit.com. And don't forget to use code CAMSUCKS for 10% off. We'll see it in here. Like when apprentices like are now charging, I'm like, they're going to get fat. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I remember refer- I, my first guest spot, I went to California, right? And it was the first time I was like, because uh, it was like, I don't know, three years with the tattooing. Yeah. And I didn't know what to, I had a free day, I didn't know what to do, so I went to Universal Studios, and I was like, the first time I've been to Universal Studios with, like, expendable income, dru- no, not drugs, weed. Yeah. So I fucking, <laughs> I popped, I popped a bunch of fucking edibles, and I, dude, I had every single thing. I remember I ended the day with fucking, um, Sideshow Bob's fucking footlong hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was just like sitting there fucking. And I was like, I gotta finish this fucking thing. <laughs> like, I gotta, I gotta get the most out of this trip. Yeah. Uh, Did you uh, finish? Yeah, I finished it. Fuck. It was like Gobbler. fucking thirty dollars. It was cold. Really? It was ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it you know, terrible. that's a Russian thing. You know, you can not finish your food. You know. Gotcha. Here too. <laughs> yeah. I can clearly never. Yeah. <laughs> it is a Spanish thing too. <laughs> yeah. You fucking. Did you get in weight? Nah, dude. No, nah. pretty skinny. Yeah, uh-huh. I still. Adrian did. Yeah, don't do Adrian's it. gained some weight. I mean, he's fine he now. It. But yeah. when he first could afford food, he's lost weight since I got here. But when yeah. I got here, he was chunky. Bro, he looked like when a snake eats, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. I'm like, I can literally Adrian reminds see. me of the dude on Instagram that doesn't chew his food. He just like what? swallows food. <laughs> I'm focusing your algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the hot dogs and shit, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He takes like three. He takes a bite, chews it twice, <laughs> and just swallows it. <laughs> That's not the deep throat like, I know. <laughs> yeah, he's a snake, bro. Adrian's built like Roger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking American, American dad. dad, bro. Yeah. You'll meet Adrian. And then you'll be yeah. like, oh, he's the alien from... Ah, oh, I bro. get it now. Yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's a nice guy. <laughs> oh, Adrian, too. <laughs> I like the little alien. <laughs> There's this fucking video. Um, he's like the sh- he's like Roger for the show. Oh, really? Too. Yeah, we just keep him around, you know. I don't, I don't know if I'm... I he's like our alien that lives in the attic. <laughs> I'm, I'm at one of your guys at Philly. He, had just, he was by himself, though. The most recent Philly? Yeah. yeah. Was, was it? it like John White? Maybe uh, uh, was he Alex or Ricky? Yeah, he was tattooed. What do he look like? Glasses. Adrian. It's <laughs> Adrian. Glasses. <laughs> and he was real. That's our boy. He was really thin and awkward. I guess so. Yeah. Didn't look yeah. into your eyes. Big, big ass. Nose. Big nose. Yes, yeah, slightly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't want to say. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, our. Yeah. That's Roger. That's yeah. our Roger. Yeah. 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 Well, hopefully, I meet him. He again, literally yeah. makes bird calls. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Around the shop. Really good too. Like around the shop. Yeah. Ask him too. Oh. I don't, I don't I don't do that. Yeah. I do a good Matt Damon impression. Uh, yeah. you already uh, opened this door. Let's hear it. Yep, Matt Damon. Hey, I'm Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I thought he was, he was here. If I close I my eyes, here. holy shit, he's across from me. <laughs> this could be yeah. Forget I, about your mother, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, I know. How long have you been able to do that? Dude, I don't know. I've been practicing for like I don't know, two years. Yeah, as soon as you yeah. learned okay, you were like, Matt Damon's next? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was one of the, you know, what, what was he, what was that movie he was in with the spaceship and Bruce Willis and the asteroid? Was, was that, he in that movie? That was, Matt Damon. That was Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what, wait, what Same movie? guy. Oh, Armageddon. <laughs> Armageddon. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. terrified me when I was younger. I mean, they are best like, friends. I'm going to so. conquer this fear by becoming they are. Yeah. And then you found out it was Ben Affleck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ben Affleck, yeah. He had, a, he had a different image of America before I came here, you know? I get fucking, it. You know, that everyone was, you know, like fucking those action They movies. don't got Jason Bowen on there, man? <laughs> you just thought every American was like Tom Cruise? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And, you know, he probably thinks work. Tom Cruise is tall, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're on my height. He's, yeah, he, we're he's probably, like, we're probably taller he's like five him, seven. Bro. He's just a small guy. I tell people I'm six feet. <laughs> Let's cool. see if they just buy it. <laughs> you know, sometimes people are like, you know, like I'm like, looking down on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll, you know, I'll fuck with people sometimes and just tell them random shit. <laughs> yeah, like, see if they like, you know, feel their vibe, if they believe it, you know. Yeah. You're an idiot. <laughs> like that measuring system in <laughs> Russia must be weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking dude, I came here. I was like, the fucking gave me a test with fucking inches and 
yards and stuff and i didn't didn't, didn't tell me anything about it and i'm just i failed it and i'm like that you're like you got a fucking f fuck is a kilometer (laughs) dog it's pretty dumb yeah i was like why would she tell me about this this is just like setting me up for the american metric system is funny (laughs) the american metric system yeah i was like the fuck's a fraction (laughs) the fuck's a kilometer dog are you tired of using ink bottles that are spelled correctly do you find yourself texting during ad reads for companies Well, I do, and that's why I use Allegory Black. Are you tired of your black arms looking blue? Do you suck at tattooing and you want to get better? Use Allegory Black. Allegory has normal black and ultra black. Just when you thought it couldn't get any darker, they put out ultra black. Use Allegory Ink. It's the best ink on the planet. Go to AllegoryInc.com and use discount code UNEMPLOYABLE for 20% off. I know, it's crazy. It's so much money. You really should pay full price, but we have a discount code. Right, Alex? That's right. You didn't start tattooing, obviously, in in Russia, right? No, no, I was like 10 years old. Gotcha. Could have. I could have, but I didn't. (laughs) All right, so you started, you said, when you were 20, 21, apprenticeship? Yeah, I I started my apprenticeship when I was 20, but I turned 21. Okay. Or the thing, I think I'm a real drunk. What's that? They got you real drunk? Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. how you know they care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what was that like? That was, tell me about that. Get, getting drunk? Yeah. No, the apprenticeship. Oh, the apprenticeship. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was pretty normal. It's like all the shit you It was you cool. Hear, I drove know? home. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they, just, they didn't have know. Uber. Well, I, you know, like, I have a stone face, so I didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah, They didn't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was pretty normal, you know. Um, oh, what the fuck, you know. I had to organize some wires my first day, you know. They were just building the shop right when I started, so I had to do a lot of, like, you know, grunt work, like... Construction. Yeah. <laughs> you had to fucking tear down a wall, right. breathe in a bunch of fucking, you know, Were you about dust. it, though? Were you like, Dude, I was, this is fine? I was fucking hell-bent on, like, I was like, I'm going to work as hard as I possibly fucking can. Like, I'm going to come in there... Because they're like, oh, you're not going to touch a tattoo machine for six months. And I was like, I'm going to fucking, dude, I'm going to fucking paint that wall so I'm hard. I'm going to touch one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking, dude, I'm going to, like, fucking paint that wall so hard. They're going to fucking be like, wow, let's fucking get a machine. tattoo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, I, I I had to, like, do that shit in my apprenticeship. Like, bullsh- like kind of bullshit, contr- like, help, clean cars. But I liked it, bro. Yeah. Because I feel like it made me, it made me feel a part of. Like, yeah. I was, like, part of the team. I liked it, yeah. Right? I yeah. don't know if you, you were feeling that, too. Or oh, yeah, my, like, my boss had me, like, move it, move his, move to a new house. So, the, yeah. you know, I kind of, like, moved it. <laughs> the house? <laughs> so, no, no, the, the house? fucking, you yeah. know, like, yeah, yeah. you know, so I kind of was an integral right. part of that. Were you know? thinking, like, what the fuck does this have to do with tattooing? Or were you like, dude, yeah, I'm was, just here for it? Dude, I was like... Yeah, I wasn't even questioning. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm fucking ready. They took me to my first strip club. Nice. You know, I was like, like, ah, <laughs> yo, hell yeah, yeah. bro. Cam, uh, <laughs> okay, that's a long table. I can't <laughs> know if you're new to that shit. Can you hell yeah, that <laughs> Similar experiences. <laughs> is this like, like an edit? We're like reaching over. <laughs> is this just like an apprentice thing where they just bring him to strip clubs? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it has to be. You know, well, we're like, I feel like at the end, it's like, well, what do you. You get some kind of reward. What do you want? <laughs> Strip club. <laughs> yeah, they gave me money for it. They gave me a bunch of wands. You know, they think, Holy yeah. shit. You know, they, you know. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like the same thing. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, okay. I think the funniest thing they did is uh, one of my jobs, it was like fucking 90 degrees in like July. And they're like, go pick up cigarette butts in a parking lot. I'm picking up the cigarette in butts. the tattoo parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I just fucking see. <laughs> <Yeah>. They're like, <laughs> they're we'll like, take the lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> uh, and I'm picking up the cigarette butts, and they're like, never fucking ending, right? And I'm yeah. like, I just fucking pick these up. And little did I know, when I wasn't looking, they were just throwing the ones I already picked up through the <laughs> fucking parking lot. Though. It's been like fucking forty minutes. So so good, like, dude. who's smoking yeah. all these cigarettes? You know, and all that good stuff. You know, I got my car Saran wrap. Nice. Had to pick a couple. Of I had to pick up a guy at work like every day for a bit, you know, it's all that nice stuff. But then I got to tattoo. Yeah, when did it start kind of turning into learning about tattooing? Uh, I mean, I kind of like learned it here and there. Um, tattooed some grapefruit with a coil machine, you know, all that stuff. I guess like, you know, two, three months into it, they kind of started having me 
fucking look over people, you know, hover and all that, yeah. teaching me kind of like the basics. Like they kind of trusted you a little more at yeah. that point. And you weren't going to like spaz out or ruin a tattoo, yeah. someone else's tattoo. I mean, they've been having me like, they were having me break break them down and set them up since like day one. So like yeah. that's like fucking muscle memory at that point, you know, ripping paper towels, autoclaves, you remember? Mm, you had yeah. to do autoclaves? Were you, no. Is that after nope. your time? Very lucky. Yeah. It was the worst. <laughs> that Dude, that, fucking, that was my crying room. That's where I went to cry. <laughs> I had like a little closet. I just shut the door. <laughs> Clean the things. You know, spent like an hour there. Yeah. All, Would all. you uh, clean them in the sink, ultrasonic, and then autoclave? Uh, you, yeah, you, you clean them. No, no, what the fuck? You put them in the ultrasonic, and yeah. then you kind of scrub them out yeah. a little bit, package them, and put them in the autoclave, right. you know, and then, dude, I fucking... I like yeah. packaging them. Yeah? I hated it. Yeah, I like repetitive shit yeah. like that, yeah. Uh, it, it, it was nice, you know, I definitely, like... Like, you learn how they fall in the packaging to get them just perfect. I don't know. <laughs> I, dude, I got no, no, lazy with it. I was draining the autoclave, and I was like, oh, it's draining. I'm going to leave it for a bit. I fucking come back. And, like, you know, the stream's pretty hard. When it first starts coming out, of the, it comes down, and I come back, and it's fucking all the, over the floor. The, yeah, all over the floor. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to, like, save it before, like, someone finds out. Yeah. I'm fucking lopping it. Dude, my mentor scared the fuck out of me with the autoclave. Oh, really? This is a pressure cooker. It will blow up. <laughs> Don't fuck it. That's how you gotta do it. You and know? I was like, mm, you know, <laughs> dude. Every pressure. time I would like turn the thing, I'd be like, I'd like double check it, and I'd be like, run through, make sure I did everything right. Uh, dude, I was so scared it was gonna blow up. I'm like, here it goes, you know. Uh, I, w- I would do that one because I would leave it on overnight, and I'd fucking go home, and I, you know, I get paranoid. I don't smoke weed. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, did I? Do? I blew up the shop. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I fucking, I left something on too. It was fun times, you know, fun memories. I guess you know the. Um, was there any point you were, like, overwhelmed and wanted to quit? Yeah, they had me, like, fucking organize some colors by their hue and stuff. Like, that, that fucking dude, I was, like, sitting there. I was like, I'll never, I'll never get good at color. I'll fucking, yeah. like, you know, they, obviously, you know, I wanted to work as hard as I possibly could. But once in a while, you know, they'd be like, what the fuck am, what, what am I doing? You know, like. Dude, um, are you, do you <laughs> sure you weren't working at a Home Depot? Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> everything up until. Like, <laughs> no, I no, guess no, I was. There was a paint swatches. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. turned down some walls. You had to yeah. shake the inks. Yeah. That's yeah. used to make me do that. I'll, shit. Le- I'll learn how to patch up a wall. Yeah. yeah. You know? Is it even a proper apprenticeship if you don't question yourself once or twice? Dude, that I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm, I'm never going to be good at this. You know, what was like, the first time you're like, I might quit? Day one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's probably like a hundred of those times. Yeah, the first time, Cam. Don't be dramatic. Um, nah, I had to be in like a, a fucking food run a fucking hour away probably oh, for damn. set, dude. That good. Getting sent fucking in the middle of rush hour traffic to a, a restaurant fucking in bumfuck Egypt. <laughs> you know, when you're tattooing, time doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. So you forget it's rush hour or something. Uh, yeah, so you're like, go get this food and... All the way, ha- almost in Miami for me. I'd be so mad when you were gone, too. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, where the bro. fuck is he? I'm like, you just sent yeah. me for yeah. food. That bro. drive would have been like me time. I feel I like I wouldn't it. send you as much as everyone else. Or like Seth. Seth. Or- <laughs> no, it was you and Seth. Yo, you, gotta re- you only started ordering from Uber Eats when like Logan started. Before that, I picked up your breakfast and your lunch. Yo, you had me out like three times a day sometimes. I liked, I liked going out. I didn't have any traffic. Me too, so but like, it got to a point where I was putting a lot of miles on my car, and I was <laughs> spending really. a lot in gas and uh, not getting gas money back. Uh, <laughs> so it gets to a point where you're like, "What the fuck, oh, I man?" Think that was like when everyone in the shop would get orders. At yeah, once, it was maybe? bad at one point. It wasn't because, to be honest, it was really just you, Seth, and the floor. <laughs> It was I was bad when the order was wrong. Yo, because I'm like Nate, ordering food. I, I Nate, don't, no one else yeah. can be on that order. Like I'm trying to get it. Yeah. Like Nate that. never sent me for food, and like no one else in the back really bugged me for yeah. it. You know, it was yeah, it was you. Oh, good, good. <laughs> you I would have felt bad if it was someone. Else. That and then maybe like when you guys f- dyed my hair. That you, you were gonna. Quit? Oh, that, that's something. Did we shave your beard? Oh no, that was someone else. No. I, yeah, I, you shaved Tyler's apprentice's beard. I, I, I didn't have a I, be- didn't. I didn't have a beard during my apprenticeship. Thank God. Yeah, really? <laughs> all those trips, I get, all that stress. stress. Yeah, <laughs> I just graduated and it came. <laughs> Man, 
My gift to you. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, when I first did you have to do a fuckload of food runs and yeah, shit? Oh, yeah, a lot. Oh, my cigarettes, God. Coffee. Yes, yeah, cigarette so I turned 21. Red like Bull runs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were the so happy. Oh, my God, God dude. This up for us they buy stuff for me, you yeah. know? They, yeah. you know, get me food, beer, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, if they send me for a Red Bull, they'd be like, get one for yourself, you know? Yeah. Usually you're good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember when I turned 21, they're like, oh, you can get cigarettes for me now. Because <laughs> I started my apprenticeship when I was 20. Oh. So I couldn't get cigarettes. And I remember, like, the day I turned 21, LaFleur was like, go get me a pack. <laughs> I was like, bro, it's been a day, it's dude. My birthday. <laughs> it's my It's been a day. <laughs> yeah. It would be 21 in Florida to get cigarettes? Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, there. All you got to be over there, two? Like 18. <laughs> Rhode Island? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I remember visiting, I mean, well, I remember visiting Russia when I was 16 years old, and I just go to the fucking kiosk, buy cigarettes and beer, you know, it was yeah. fucking great. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, then alcohol runs. <laughs> I don't, I don't Yeah, drink, you don't drink, so, so yeah. I don't know what I remember picking up a case. Well, I wasn't sad. I remember pick, having to pick up, like, <laughs> cases of high noons for LaFleur and Johnny. Yeah. 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 Yep. Sorry. All right. Model Citizen used to be cool before Alex started wearing it. Are you tired of being unattracted to everyone around you? Well, not anymore. With the Model Citizen apparel, you'll be beating them off with a stick. Finally, tattoo clothing that is actual quality, that I can wear around and feel good. For real though, the quality of these clothes is top notch. This is like nothing you've ever seen before with a tattoo company. This isn't some Gildan bullshit. These are quality hand-picked clothing. They have everything from vintage styles, oversized clothes, modern tees. Go to themodelcitizen.com. Get them before Alex does. Out of all the shit I did in my apprenticeship, I still feel like it was not enough. Like The amount I got from this job is like, I would have fucking picked up like a million cigarettes for it, you know? So, like, I commented on one of your videos once with Pony about, like, charging for apprenticeships and all yeah. that, dude. And I still, I don't, I don't reply to shit on Instagram because it's fucking useless arguing with people. But yeah. I still get, like, notifications once in a while. Yeah, Someone's yeah. fucking, you know, arguing against it. You know, one guy was like, oh, if you're fucking, um, what do you say? He's like, oh, your, your colleges provide housing too should your mentor also have you crashed at their house if you're, you know, apprenticing? You know, did you have Cam do that? No. No. You wouldn't let him <laughs> crash at your have house. Cam <laughs> crash at my house. Yeah. No, but it's like, bro, with that whole thing, it, it's because they're saying you should get paid for your apprenticeship, right? Yeah. At best with college, you get it for free. Yeah. Not paid. Yeah. yeah. You getting thousands of dollars. And then them charging tens of thousands of dollars is not you getting paid. Yeah. yeah. No. That's you. You're dumb. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. I'm glad you're going to college because you're fucking stupid. Yeah. Right? So it's like the whole argument. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know, whatever. And they're like, no, you get paid. You get paid. It's like, you're, you're not. And I'm not saying like, I don't charge for apprenticeships. Mm, no. You know? But I don't fucking pay for them either. And I might be not the... I don't know. My view is definitely like warped mm -hmm. because not only did I like do the apprenticeship, I did two apprenticeships because I fucked up the first one. It was all my fault, you know, so I had to do another one. Uh, so it was like rough, but exactly what you said, like the life that it has given me, I would have done it tenfold. Yeah. You know, it would have been yeah. hard because like that's a little easier to say with what I know now. Yeah. Right. Back then you're just hoping it works out. Yeah. But then also, like, I'm clean, you know? So it's like I went through all the bullshit of, like, having to get clean, like, from drugs and shit, which was kind of similar to the apprenticeship, just in, in doing all these things you didn't really want to do, hoping there was a re reward at the end. So I kind of have, like, zero sympathy for anyone. I'm like, yeah. cool, work hard. Yeah. yeah. It will pay off. Yeah. Someone's going to work harder. Yeah. Someone's yeah. going to, you know, you, right. you come in, you know, you don't, the apprenticeship is too hard for you. Someone else is going to come in and they're going to work their ass off and they're right. going to get it. You know, they're going to, yeah. and especially know. like if you don't expect anything, like you take care of the apprentices, like yeah, if shit hits the fan and like something happens to them. Like at the end of the day, you're there for them. That's right. what like, yeah, like I had situations in my apprenticeship where something popped up. I couldn't afford it. Like just an accident happened and like yeah. you were always there for me, you know, like, so like, yeah, you may not get paid, but like if you do your job and like, 
you sh- you're part of the shop, like you still get taken care of pretty much. You know, you're getting like I'm gonna make sure you can come to work. Yeah, yeah. you get a break <laughs> through your window. You need your car to drive. Yeah. Cool, here's money. Be here on time. Yeah, like I caught, I caught yeah. it. I caught a cinder block through my windshield during my apprenticeship, and he paid for it because uh-huh. I I couldn't. But he was uh-huh. like, "Yeah, I need yeah, you to come to work." Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh-huh. like, at the same time, like if you're a new apprentice, I'm not gonna be like, "Don't worry, you're taken care of." Yeah, you have to earn that because yeah. I don't want you to know. Yeah. I want you to take a risk. Yeah. yeah, I want you to like show that like. You need to have that like leap of faith. I want you to show that like you you really want this. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that's you what know? It, you know. I feel like it's less of actually getting stuff done around the shop is to prove that like if you're gonna put a time and effort into someone, they're not gonna you know fucking be a fuck off. You know, they're not right. gonna like start tattooing and just fucking you know dick off the whole time. Right. You know. Um, like, did you have a guarantee when you started? Like, what is an apprentice? Like, we're like, hey, we guarantee, like, you're going to have an amazing life. You're going to be fucking, you're going to make money. You're going to. They told me, like, they set me down and be like, hey, this is going to, this was going to suck. You're going to, you know, you're going to come in here 20, 30 hours a week. You're going to do all these chores. You're going to watch this tattoo. And even then, like, the chores were like, I don't know, like, out of the 30 hours a week, probably like eight, 10, yeah. you know, they don't take that long. But there wasn't, yeah. there wasn't a guarantee, right? They like maybe of, they said it yeah, or whatever, but, but yeah, there was no there was no guarantee. Like they were like risk it. You had yeah, to be like it was a big I'm risk. I'm gonna fucking I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna hope for the best and right? Yeah, I fucking sent it. I'm gonna pick you up know? these cigarettes. Nah, <laughs> you yeah. know, I was I was ready to do it all. You right, know? you had faith in the process. Yeah. I was, you know, I I, want, I was like, I'm gonna work as hard as I possibly can. I already put this much fucking time into it. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna get all the fruits out of it I can get, you know. Right. And I think what that does, because then it, like, pays off. I think you've at least made it far enough where it's considered, like, oh, this has paid off. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now you learn how to take risks. Yeah. You you learn how to, like, overcome challenges, like, right from the beginning. You know, and how many, like, risks and challenges and struggles and thinking on your feet do we deal with every day in tattooing? Got to be ready for that, you know. Yeah. And you're, like, you know, you're building yourself up because you start, like, pretty much from scratch, from the bottom. Right. So it's like, you've already been at the bottom. You know what it's like. You and don't no want to go. take that from you. Yeah, and you don't want to go back to that either. No. Yeah. You, know? so, you got to know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you also kind of learn that you can survive with nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know? No, like 100%. Like It could always be worse. Super yeah. appreciative yeah. of the apprenticeship. So yeah. it's like, if someone shows up at the door and they're like, can I get paid? Well, what's my guarantee? Like, how am I? G- I want to be like, yo, shut the yeah. Yeah, window like, shopping. Because it's like, you know? what do you, what do you offer? Like, there's nothing, you know. Right. Yeah. You got, dude, I feel you gotta be like, I want a tattoo, yeah. fuck tunnel, like you know, no, no plan yeah, B, you know. you know, like I want this. There is I no, I have no second option. Like yeah. this is all that I have. Like there is nothing like, else. I for know me. what I want at the end. I don't give a fuck what it takes to get yeah, there. Like yeah. I'm obsessed with this. You want someone obsessed with it? You want someone that fucking you know cares for you know? Yeah. Like you want you. Because, like, if you know, like, I feel like, it's, you know, some kids nowadays, I feel like I'm 27. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm still considered kids, yeah. a young adult. No, but, it, you, know, yeah. you know, some of them, you know, they're looking for the whole, like, you know, tattoo cloud thing, you yeah. know, more than you, you do want someone that's, you know, all about the, I don't know, the, the industry. You know, yeah, everybody they wants, like, in the yeah, West, so, right? Yeah. So I didn't really know much about it yet. I, like, looked at Instagram. And I've seen people, you know, tattooing. I, like, followed a bunch of tattooers. And, like, I just kind of sent it in my first month apprenticing. I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. This sucks. This is not going to go Do you remember anywhere. who your favorites were at that time? Oh, yeah. I, I remember I was looking at a World Famous Ink, like, yeah. protein page. I remember yeah. seeing Arlo tattoos. I fuck, yeah, I've been following this guy, Prim, Chris Prim, for, like, yeah. the fucking longest time. Uh, Valentina was actually, you know. you know. Oh, Val. Uh, yeah, Val. Yeah, yeah. Shy, like, you know, straight away. And then as I started, you know, started following more artists, I kind of like, you know, grew it a little bit more. And the more and more I immersed myself within like that, you know, culture. I was right. like, fuck, I want to like, I want to do fucking sick tattoos. I want to fucking, you know, do all this cool shit. Yeah. You know, and that just kind of like motivated me to get past through all those like, I wouldn't say shitty. It wasn't that bad. It was like, you know, the, you know, the 30 hours a week, six month, uh, you know, apprenticeship. I like, you know, I had a routine. I had like a second job. I, uh, I had like a routine every Sunday I would come back from like the second job and I would get a uh, it's pretty gross I would get a three dollar bottle of Chardonnay from Walmart and I would get 
to the sub from Subway, and I would sit there on my couch, and I would just like fucking, and that was like, like a king. It was like a little fucking yeah. <laughs> safe a heaven for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did, did you have a comfort thing like that? Yeah, I would go home and smoke weed to like. Kind of about your problems. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> I don't drink, so like that was my, that's my stuff. This is the only time I really drink. It's like three bottle Chardonnay. <laughs> Would it be? Was it like every week? Every week, every single what week day of Sunday. the week was it? Sunday, 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 end Sunday. of the week. Yeah, because I would I would do my apprenticeship Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I would go to Salem, Mass, which was like an hour yeah, yeah. drive for me, and I would work there. I would sleep at the uh, I would sleep at the store. Um, you do, sleep at the store? Yeah, it was like, uh, dude, it wasn't really like a real job. Is like, I mean, it was a real job. It was like retail, but my mom owned the store. Okay. And um, so I would go there and I would like work 10 hours Friday, 10 hours Saturday. I would sleep at the store <laughs> with lot. the scary yeah. mannequins. Yeah. There was like a room where there was like a bunch of, because it was like a fucking Halloween store. So yeah. you wake now, up and in a different position. Yeah, dude, like, oh, I'm like, fuck. I was in the mannequin room like on the dressed. fucking couch. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, I was, like, slept in my sweatshirt. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't break change of clothes. Um, and um, I would drive back on Sunday night. It was really depressing. And I would get my, you know, I would look forward to my fucking tuna sub. <laughs> Yo, but you were excited on that Dude. drive there, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah. So it was like tw- it was back. I don't know if fucking Walmart's at twenty four hours now. You know, not anymore. But back in the day, you know, it was like you get there. Like I think I get there like eleven. Yeah. Clock and I would, or I don't know, they had like a cutoff time before they uh, stopped, you know, selling liquor. You were nice to everyone in the store. You were in a good mood. Dude, I was, it was like, hey, I was hey. walking on sunshine. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was fucking tired. But what you know. about when it was over, when you were done? Apprenticing? No, no, like when you were done with the reward. I just, I was just fucking crash and fall asleep. <laughs> and I would have like one day off, I would have Monday, and I would just fucking sit there yeah. on the couch all day. And your yours with weed. <laughs> yours <laughs> with weed? Yeah. What, just every night you'd be like, finally I fucking made it? Yeah. And then you just make yourself completely stupid. Yeah. Just party. Yeah. And then you'd wake up in the morning like, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> it's over. I also like didn't have anything but the tattoo apprenticeship too. So yeah. I was here like 60 hours oh, a week. Oh, damn. That's yeah. a lot. That's I was here fun. like 60 hours a week. Sometimes six days a week. Most of the time six days a week. So yeah, that one day off, I was just home getting stoned all fucking day. It was great. Yeah, I, I, dude, I feel like I was, I had this thought the other day, I, I feel like you tattoo, right, tattooing is like, I, I, I think it's like the best job ever, it's fucking amazing, right, you, can, you know, most of the time you get to do kind of whatever you want, make yeah. it on schedule, you know, you feel like you get spoiled, Yeah. you know, 100%. I feel like it should be mandatory for every tattooer to work like, like a, like a fucking somewhere bad for like one day a year, you know, just for to like kind of like, comparison. yeah, just to kind of yeah. like, yeah, because my first job was a Wetzel's Pretzels, you know. It's fucking awesome. That's all. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, like, I, I don't know. I had like a minor inconvenience pop up like a month ago and I was like fucking like, for like a whole hour. I was fucking bummed out, you know, and I just kind of like thought to myself, I was like, I could be fucking making pretzels right now. Or picking up cigarette like, Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, this is not bad. Yeah. We'll always <laughs> yeah. like, I'll always talk to, you know, artists like when they come here, like new hires and stuff yeah. and like. It's always like, what do you, like, what do you want out of this? You know, like, are you chasing a dream? Are you just kind of here to chill? Like, you're just trying to work 40 hours a week and, like, make just enough and kind of go home? Are you, like, like, where are you at? And I'll get all kinds of answers from, like, yo, I'm really only trying to work, like, one or two days a week because I do, like, commission on the side. I'll get the answer of, like, you know, I'm trying to work like five days a week, but really just kind of come in, work, and then go home. <laughs> and then you get, you know, the kind of above and beyond people that are like, yo, I'm looking to grow in yeah. this industry, right? And once in a while, I'll take that middle. I will never take the part-timers um, or like the one-day-a-week commission stuff. Like mm-hmm. to me, cool, you're not a tattoo artist, you're an artist. Go mm-hmm. go do full commission, you know? Uh but I'm looking for those people that are like, yo, I'm trying to grow, you know, and very much at borrowed time, this is like where we have the people that are that are the grow. Right. And then at another shop, it's kind of for people that have are, been through the growing phase and they kind of know what to do on, on their own. Yeah. Camp's a know? grower. Yeah. Uh. yeah and, and then we got the showers. OK. At the other, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, but it's it's the interesting because it's a lot of like behavioral change and schedule change mm. and like whatever. And it. 
And I know it's a struggle because anytime you grow, it's uncomfortable, right? Yeah. So it's like, hey, you have to work more, come early, stay late. It's like more, 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 more. Because if you, whatever you're doing is not enough. Mm-hmm. And like, if you want to grow, yeah. in, in my opinion, like, cool, if nothing changes, nothing changes, yeah. right? So if you're doing this and you want to grow, you have to add a little more somewhere. Mm-hmm. So how do we do that? And we, you know, we kind of sculpt that together. And what's really cool is sometimes I'm not even involved. You know, like you're helping Logan grow and like I'm not really as involved. Like you guys are staying late. You're working on pieces. You're learning about how to format sleeves. You're building contrast together. You're going over these videos. And this is all not when you're tattooing, right? I think that's what it takes. Oh, yeah. Right? Because I'm always thinking like, what is everyone else doing? And how can I do more than that? So I can be like set aside, yeah. right? If I look around the shop and I'm doing the exact same as everyone else, I'm normal. Yeah. How do I, how do I fucking get to the next yeah. level? Yeah. There's always you know? a next level. Yeah. 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 And, and not everyone's like that. And sometimes, you know, people aren't really down with that or they'll, you'd be like, oh, workaholic or over whatever it is, you know, but that's okay, cool. That's like where you want to be. Like if I'm just trying to be like a, psycho over here just let me yeah. you know i have a guy have like a guilt about that sometimes you know because i put a i'll put a lot of time into you know like con- like conventions like i'll fucking convention friday saturday sunday i'll yeah. take um sunday monday tuesday wednesday and like thursday um usually the wednesday and thursday is like fucking like prep right but i'll i'll spend all day drawing i put at least like three days one whole day for you know because i'm like I want to level up, you know, like I want to like, you know, usually my designs take like three, four hours, right? right. I'm like, oh, I'm going to put fucking 10, you know, in one, in one of those, you know, designs. And that's how you got to do it. Cause like, you know, convention, everyone else is putting like, you know, 10, 12 hours yeah. into something. You got to be like, oh, I'm not putting enough in, you know, yeah. I'm a fucking psycho at conventions. I'll fucking, I'll actually kind of feel bad, dude. I'll fucking crawl in there through the air ducts just to get in there early and start setting up, dude. I'm fucking like, yeah. I don't even like use an alarm, dude. I'll have a dream that I'm late or I'm like missing something and I'll fucking wake up and I'm like, I got to fucking go. To, y- to you, what do you think a perfect or great convention weekend looks like? Like, how do you do conventions? How do you approach them? You already said you take off a few days before to yeah. get designs ready. Perfect convention. Uh, uh, load and go smoothly. You know, everything's set up. Like, okay. I've been to a few conventions where they weren't even, like, set up with electricity, right? You bring a bunch of your own stuff? So, I pre-draw all the designs right beforehand. I make the stencils. I make about two stencils and two sizes per stencil. I usually know which side they're going on, but just to make sure you, the first stencil gets fucked up, I don't want to be running over and struggling around with the fucking community stencil maker, you know? Do you get designs approved by clients? No. Okay, no you, so you are like, this is what we're doing. Yes. I'm not letting them change it. Yes. I already have the stencil. Okay. Yes. I make sure they know before I book it. I'm like, hey, this is a convention. I want to do the fucking juiciest fucking tattoo I possibly can. You know, I, I, I give them the do whole you charge spiel. normal rates? I first, I mean, for some, yes, they're a little bit closer, but if I'm flying out, I charge a little bit more for conventions too. Right. There's a few conventions where I definitely had to like eat a little bit. Like I couldn't get, I couldn't get many people at Chicago. So yeah. I kind of like, you know, sometimes you kind of have to like, you know, you, can, yeah. you, you can't like try to like, you know, get too much. But um, yeah, just a little bit more, you know, like I would rather like, you know, be tattooing, um, Rather than like you know trying to like because yeah you, you know convention you know you do it like a couple of times a year you want to like you know be your best so so sometimes like you you can't give a deal if you're like doing a two day piece you know you know I've only done that you know once too just to you know like I want to fucking show this off you know kind of yeah. like that too oh that's what I was like last convention I was in I had a two day piece that didn't end up being able to finish like it yeah. was you know it's painful you know yeah. so you know what happens and you know i fucking moped around the entire time yeah. <laughs> what their hotel room took a nap yeah. but, uh, um, three bottle three dollar bottles but, uh, <laughs> I, I, I got weird uh i got kind of like steered off the question but my perfect convention is i'm already all the clients show up to sit all the tattoos are finished you know tattoo in all three days i tattoo every dude i will you know fucking i'll get there at, as soon as they open as soon yeah. as they let people in right i'll fucking I'll slither my way in. Yeah. Like this one time, 
uh, is he not Josh Payne? Yeah. Or Josh Payne, like. Dude, I was like, I got so lucky that I was right behind him because he was fucking knocking on the, the convention door. He's like, let me in. I got a, like, tattoo. Yeah. And I just, like, he, he they let him in, and I just went through the door. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> slither my way in. This episode is brought to you by Zippix and Nicotine Toothpicks. Zippix brings you a totally satisfying, convenient, and great-tasting way to curb your nicotine cravings. Now you can get your nicotine fix any time, and I can attest to that. I love Zipex, especially for when I'm tattooing. I don't feel the need to smoke cigarettes or hit my vape. I can just have a toothpick in and run completely through the session. I love it. Not only do they have the nicotine, but they have the caffeine and B12. I love having those options. Ditch the cigarettes, ditch the vape, get some nicotine-infused toothpicks at zippixtoothpicks.com today get 10 percent off your first order by using code unemployable or camp sucks your lungs will be glad you did you must be 21 or older to order warning nicotine is an addictive chemical zip more smoke less with zip picks nicotine toothpicks so I, I mean, first off, uh, I don't know if I said it yet. Your work is amazing. Oh, thank I you. Love yeah. it. Um, I think it's awesome that you're traveling. You've already built a great following on like what you have. And it seems like you've accomplished maybe a lot of, you know, goals or things you had in the, in the beginning. Yeah. You know, maybe things you were thinking about when you were picking up those cigarette butts in your yeah, apprenticeship. I did. Hell yeah. But what goals do you still have? What are things you'd like to achieve that you haven't yet? Oh my God. I was thinking about that and give me a fucking panic attack because <laughs> like you know i had a list and i crossed a lot of the things off like cool. uh, just more guest spots you know i really want to i want to get you know my work's at a place right now and i like it but i have like a vision in my head and like you know sometimes like you, you can't really like grasp it too you know solidly but i have a vision of how i want my work to go and where where, where to take it and uh, how to level it up a little bit more. Like, I want to, I want to, like, I feel like if I don't do the best of what I think I can do, I'll be missing out. Like, yeah. you know, like, I, f I feel like if I don't, you know, do these things, progress or anything like that, like, I feel like, you know, makes me, makes me sad thinking about if I don't, like achieve like your full potential yeah like i, I don't know i really want to hit that and i mean a lot of those things i've already done but you know. but do you think you'll really get to a point where you're like never i've hit it never never and i dude i still feel like you know coming here i was like why the fuck do they want me on here like i'm still not fucking you know you, you never feel like you're really you know you're not really there like i still feel like you know i just like started tattooing sometimes you know yeah like that day i was walking around where i wasn't tattooing at a conventional i felt like i was like an apprentice all over again, you right? Know, not having to do. I was like, yeah, I had this cool project. <laughs> yeah. I didn't work out. I'm legit. I promise. Yeah, like, yeah. I, 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 I bet I'm a supposed to be here. I was like, I'm a tattoo artist. He's like, cool. <laughs> right? Why are you tattooing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nothing. Uh, uh, but um, I just want to do my. I, I want to get. I, I want to have more fun with it. Like, there's so much more to tattooing than tattooing nowadays. You know, guest spots, going and hanging out with like. You know your buddies that you've been on, you've been friends with on Instagram for a while. Like I want to go to Ar I want to go to Arkansas and hang out because like that's like a big thing in the tattoo industry is like you know you basically it's a giant group of friends. You know you yeah. go to a lot of opportunities to go travel. Uh, you know meet other people you look up to and stuff like that too. You know yeah I guess I want to have fun. Maybe get. <laughs> involved in the culture and community of tattooing a little bit more yeah definitely i definitely you know want to put myself more out there you know like, like i said like i only really put my tattoos out there yeah because sometimes like you know my clients don't really know what to expect like i feel like you know i'm a i'm a, I'm a pretty funny guy when i, you know, I, I entertain I agree, people yeah. you know yeah. uh, so sometimes you know people think you're a scary tattooer you know right. they don't really know what to expect and i just you know kind of want to put myself out there a little more like that too like i'll fucking do I show I've been, I've been forcing Bollywood movies on my clients. <laughs> you were saying, and they that, fucking yeah. love it every cool, single yeah. time. Um, Are they hesitant at first? Yeah, and I like I have to pitch it to them. I was like, no, trust me, this guy fucking like blows up a motorcycle with a cigar, like you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guy, this guy punches the tiger in the face with a lantern, like <laughs> you know, you, 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 
they're, they're, they're great. You're going to love Every time they watch the movie, I put on the same movie. I must have seen it like six times. It's like I got six times three is what, like 18. I got 18 hours into this movie. And uh, they fucking love it every time, you know. Uh, Bringing something new to the table. Yeah. They'll yeah. never forget that tattoo. Yeah, and I, 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 I recommend, like, you know, all those uh, other movies to them, you know, later on and all that, too. Like, uh, fucking Evan and Andy are super fun to get tattooed by. Right. And I think that's why that's great that they're doing that YouTube channel thing. Because, like, you see the tattoos, but you don't really get the vibe. Like, it's fun just going there and getting tattooed, you know. Yeah. they got these two TVs that are, um, they play the same thing at the same time. So, you know, people from across the room can watch, really know what they're doing. Right. And it's like, you know, it's more than just getting a tattoo. You know, it's you go in there, you know, you're going to be hurt for eight hours, but you're going to have fun, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, that's what I love, you know, and I, I want to try to translate that uh, into the client experience. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know about you, but most, if not all, like, most days at the shop are fun. Yeah. Very it's fun. A fun place. I'm excited to see this dude, that dude, th- yeah. and talk shit all day and yeah. just try to make each other laugh. Yeah. I th- yeah, I wish uh, more people knew about that kind of thing, you know, because people are intimidated to come into a tattoo shop sure. still, you know. Yeah. I know it's got that stigma, but... It's not really a thing anymore, you know. Right. And I think, like, kind of projecting some of that on social media helps. Oh, yeah. Right? Because it could make them feel like they know you a little bit more or more accurate expectation, more comfortability. It's easier to walk through the door the first time. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I feel feel like I'd fail at that because I'm, like, I am awkward, you know. I make a video. I'm like, I'm under. (laughs) <laughs> like, you know, like, how am I doing? You know, are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> like, you want to hear my Matt Damon impression? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's, it's it's so weird. I fucking, you know, I um, I was at a convention. S- similar story, you know. I tried to um, kind of like joke around with a with a um, a person trying to buy my prints. Right? They're like looking at my prints. And they're like, they're like, oh, where are you from? You know, and they're like, I'm from Minnesota. And I started doing the, this Dahmer just came out. And I started doing my Midwestern impression. They fucking left. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, <laughs> You're like, oh, I was cut like, your body right, up. Baby, 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 you want to take some it, pictures. You know? yeah, uh, want to take some pictures. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it takes, you know, it takes a little bit of time to like get used to a person's humor, you know? Yeah. Uh, like when I messaged you yesterday, you know, like I didn't know your type of humor, so I didn't want to push it too much when I was asking you for good spots. You know, you told me cult meetings. I was going to. Ask there any good glory holes around there. <laughs> so, but I was like, ah, I, I like typed it. I was like, nah. <laughs> that's, that's something a little bit more professional. <laughs> so, something a little bit more employable. Oh, time. So, I I mean, just so you know for the future, I love that shit. Uh, yeah. If you yeah. send me off the wall shit, uh, I'll respond back with off the wall shit. I think it's a, a Northeast thing. Yeah. Uh, you know? You got to be careful with these, these other places, right? <laughs> But so I welcome that. But you're right, dude, because sometimes like I'll take that chance and it will fail. Yeah. And I'll offend someone, <laughs> and, you know, whatever it is. But yeah, you can ease into it and you, you feel it out. But I think trying to to build some kind of, you know, rapport or relationship with with anyone is worth the risk than not. Yeah. You know, so like if someone comes up to my booth or your booth with Prince, try Rather than, like, say, some people say nothing, bro. Yeah. And guess what happens? They're going to walk away every fucking time. Yeah, at least they remember you. Yeah. yeah. You're creeping <laughs> every pressure for some fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I had a lot of awkward moments at you know, conventions. Yeah. yeah. I met an artist I look up to another time. Uh, I'm stoned and my eyes are really red. And he, uh, it was super awkward because he asked if, like, I'm okay. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> crying. Like, like, he was genuinely concerned about you? Like, no, okay? he was mostly like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I just oh, don't want to be too old. Like, are you slow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, I'm just... Yeah. What were you I saying? Be, i just been ripping my vape too much. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Hell yeah. Do we, uh, is that time? Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Do, Do you have anything this? else you wanted to touch on before we wrap up? Do we no, cover all fine. the topics? Who cares? We had a great time. We had a great yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys That's there for like backup or emergency. Yeah. 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 That's for Cam, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's for emergency. I think it's so close to him. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thrive in nervous situations. It Good, dude. Were you nervous? <laughs> a little bit, but not really. Are you still nervous? No. You're Once thriving. you saw how bad Cam is at this, you're like, I'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing this <laughs> and I still suck. <laughs> yeah. not, not really. Yeah, you know, I, I usually... 
Like, I feel like, you know, if I'm a situation where, you know, it requires a lot of talk and I just kind of like, you know, don't shut up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> tattooing, that's, that's right? We have to talk to our clients all day. Yeah. Yeah, about whatever, whatever. Dude, just bitch about our problems. <laughs> yeah. So. Yo, we should do the reverse, bro. Next client that comes in, you should just start complaining about your life to them. Yeah, before they I've can done that. You have? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. For you, dude. You know, taxes and all that. <laughs> I'm just going to trauma dump the fuck out of my next client, bro. You don't mind if I listen to these headphones. Don't walk dude. around with that on your fucking conscience. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll complain. Yeah, yeah. I'm a complainer, you know. Anything you wanted to talk about or um, get out before we close the episode? Anything new you got going on? Any merch stuff? Any... No, I don't got anything going on. Just, cool. you know, doing some cool tattoos this week, you know. Nice. Try to book something cool, you know. Doing a lot of conventions. Oh, yeah. Trying to do more guest spots. Oh, yeah. No, not much. I didn't come here with a plan or anything. I love that. Hell, yeah. All right. Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable. Andre, thank you again for joining us, man. Thanks yeah. for having me. Stoked, time. stoked to have you here this week. See what you get going on. We'll See catch you guys you next week. <laughs> guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. I know we joke around a lot and get wild on some topics. But one topic I take very serious is addiction. If you or anyone you know is struggling, don't be afraid to reach out and get the help you need.